This is a very old region of Missouri. Those are the old steps along this huge bluff that's overlooking the big river valley. But this place in particular is an old impact zone on the 38th parallel. You can kind of see the scars in the earth here on Google Earth. Made that river do a sharp 90 degree turn. Not a soft one, but a sharp one. But there's evidence of this being a very old settlement for Indians. There's petroglyphs around here. I have a video uploaded on that. There's an old, old stone road leading away from those petroglyphs. Terrace structures, kind of like what you would see in South America, Peru and Bolivia. Of course, their climate is arid, so things don't erode quite as fast as they do in Missouri which has freezing, thawing, real humid in the summer. Lots of weather and rain. So holding on to really old sites is a little bit tougher in this area. But just north of here is Cahokia, Cahokia Mounds I'm sure you've heard of. Just north of that is Pike County. There's a very, very old ancient Indian Mound Complex and some who believe in giants and the Nephilim. Folklore says, and this is going back even before Europeans settled here. Folklore says that giants built the mounds around here. So let's see. Investigate a little bit more. That's so cool. But the petroglyphs say a lot about this region. There's even one petroglyph that's etched in that is the exact same geologic features that this impact zone valley has. I mean, you can't make that stuff up. If you go on Google Earth and look at this area, and then look at a particular petroglyph, I mean, it's identical. And how would they know what that looks like from above? Maybe they're just smart enough. I'm gonna try to get down to the cave that's down there. So that's the big river. Empties into the Merrimack, then into the Mississippi. Either that or empties into the Missouri and then, then into the Mississippi. I'm pretty sure it's Merrimack. Oh, here we go. Let's go look at the cave. Right, tell me if you weren't a... An Indian, you wouldn't be hanging out here as a prime source for looking at this valley below. You know, what's down there to chase after? There's turkey everywhere here, deer everywhere here, and all the other animals that small game you would want to feast on. Then coming up on the cave here. But if you think about it, no one would know that you're sheltered up in this cave from above, unless you were noisy and were smoking a lot. Check this out. Look at the view. So in the warmer months, 
the trees have their leaves. So this is even more secluded. But you have your water, your food, source fish, if you're not having any luck with deer and turkey and squirrel and rabbit and other stuff. There was bear everywhere around here back then. Mountain lion, heck, mastodon. Here's a mastodon state park we found. Nice preserved mastodons here. Check it out. Sure, this is doubled as a sex room too throughout the ages. You know, many a kid has hung out here. They've cleaned up quite a bit of the graffiti from the last time I was here. So it's a lot more attractive. Missouri's really good about keeping their state parks in order for the most part. Let's see how far up I can go. If you stand in this cave just right, when I turn around, I'll show it to you. Look, there's all kinds of channels in here too. Here's a bed for a mom and dad, caveman, grandma and grandpa, the kids. Stash your food up there. <laughs> now watch this. First we're in Missouri. So if you stand here just right and aim your camera just right to make that look like the state of Missouri. See? There's Missouri right there. And literally, there's Missouri right there beyond this cave. Gotta admit that's cool though. Yeah, this area is awesome. But a lot of my minerals that I post on my channel have come from within this region. Not necessarily here, but within a 50 mile radius of here. St. Francis Mountains. Right to the east of me, southeast, just by a little bit. This is kind of like the verge of it, where they begin. That's all volcanic, granite, rhyolite. Yeah, it's really cool. Found all kinds of stuff in the granite, in the granite zone. There's also evidence of some old megaliths and monoliths too, in that granite, granitic area. There's a lot of things here that don't really make it into the Missouri history books. The mounds in Pike County, you need to check that video out if you haven't seen it. I have a handful posted from up there. I want them to stay preserved. That's why I'm interested. Too much of this ancient history gets wiped out usually by greedy developers that don't really care, want to make a buck. And two, there are some historians that don't really want some of this ancient history out. Kind of contradicts with the old narrative that they've been preaching for centuries. And if they told some of this story, heck, they'd have to admit they were wrong and print all new books. Yeah, that's cool. Around here is an Indian mound. But I can't remember. There's so many gravel roads around here. I forget some of the things that I've seen or where they are, I mean. Yeah. 
very awesome.